between the sounds of motorbike engines and car horns in Kinshasa's Ngiri Giri neighborhood, you can also make out the slightest strains of classical music. Johnny practices scales on his bassoon, an instrument he taught himself to play over 30 years ago. There was no teacher, no coach, no book on it, and also it's an instrument that's known in this country because Congolese music has nothing to do with the bassoon or the clarinet and all that. And when I picked it up, I was curious to see what it sounded like. Johnny's love of music led him to join the Kibongist Symphony Orchestra. It's the best-known orchestra in Central Africa, founded in 1994 by maestro Armand Diengenda. More than 200 musicians and singers now make up the group. Today at the conservatory, there's a dress rehearsal ahead of the orchestra's next concert. We don't have to continue the note there. Let's put in a cejura. The conductor is laser-focused on getting the notes pitch perfect, and nothing escapes the expert ear of the man whom the musicians nickname Papa Armand. These are church tunes that we've adapted for the recording. 90% is our own repertoire. We feel we have to promote our own culture, our own music. The Congolese compositions weave together melodies with subtlety and virtuosity. Mona is a peace son in Kikongo, one of the country's national languages. The Congolese repertoire demonstrates the orchestra's enthusiasm for classical music as a universal heritage. Yeah.